Hi, everybody. Welcome to another episode of After 30 with Cara Erigal. I hope you're all safe and well. Nagbabalik na naman po tayo for another really exciting and insightful episode. I'm so, so excited to have this amazing conversation with this amazing person. But before we get to that, I just want to um, give you a short background. Short nga ba? No, I want to give you a little backgrounder on uh, what we're about to talk about today. Now, I've always had a re- weird relationship with money. We're talking about money, by the way. Um, I was raised by an Ilocano grandmother who was very, very matipid and even kept money under her bed. Okay? And even I, na, na, nakuha ko yung ugali na yon. Malibang sabi i-announce dito no, that I do keep money <laughs> sa bedside table ko and I keep cash around just because I, you know, that's something I grew up to. And, you know, um, a trait that I kind of got used to and that I have now na na-acquire ko. And I realized my relationship with money was based on scarcity and fear because this was what I grew up to. I learned to work very hard for money. And to save. And that was all I knew. I knew work, save, uh, work, earn, and save. There was always an unreasonable amount of fear when it came to the subject of money. And it became even more clear to me as soon as I got married. My husband, I would say, is more finance savvy. And this affects our relationship in a way that I think a lot of people may relate to. We're two people who grew up to very different histories and experiences with money. And now we're supposed to, what, just get along and manage our finances together? How? What is financial literacy and how does it transform and empower us? You know, as women, as men in relationships and marriages, how can we contribute to economic empowerment so that we, most especially women, can achieve greater control over our own lives? On today's episode, we're talking to TV and news personality, registered financial planner, journalist, founder and president of Empower and Transform, managing producer and head writer, everybody. I am proud to bring on the podcast for the first time ever, the one and only Salve Doplito. Hi, Salve. Hello. (laughs) Oy, grabe. Sobrang dami energy because, you know, hindi pa tayo natutido. (laughs) Tas ng energy. I love it. <laughs> How are you with your purple hair? <laughs> Di ba ganda? Mamaya brown na to. Tapos later Ay, green. Ganyan. Because that's just what we are and what we do. We make life colorful. And I, then, I love ayun, that. Gusto kaya siya ka meron ka pang ilaw-ilaw. Para kang magigig. Alam mo yun? Ay, Sa ano yun? Dugs, ano yun? Sa strums. <laughs> Hindi, but I mean, oh my God. This song goes up my first Strums! song. Is <laughs> Strums! Oh my God. Malapit lang sa ABS yan eh. Strums! O, oh, diba? Strums. <laughs> love that. No, but yeah. uh, I want to just put it out there. I said this a while ago off the air, but I want to say it again. Thank you so much, Salve, for making time. I know you're super busy and alam kong wala ka rin tulog. <laughs> But yeah, I'm just, I'm really, you, okay, even before we started the episode, guys, meron ng ano, may ginagawa na si Salve, okay? Because like, she lives and breathes like finance, you know? <laughs> and like, she was like, ah, 6,000 na yung index? So it's like, ha? Ano daw? <laughs> Wait, ah, before no, kasi kasi mula, kara, tanong, ano yun? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> so I'll tell everybody what was happening. So you were briefing me about uh, the stream yard, etc. And I was just looking at some of my tabs. And all of a sudden, uh-huh. I saw, oh my God, the index is what? And I was like, 6,078. Tapos Kara was like, I don't understand whatever you're saying. <laughs> This is why we're so having this episode. What adorable. <laughs> yes, okay. So the Philippine Stock Exchange Index, that's the PSEI. It's like the, di ba tayo right. ngayon because of COVID? Uh-uh. We super know how temperatures work. I, wow, how temperatures work. Yung binabaril ka to get your, uh, uh, your, your temperature, temp- right? Yeah, that's, yeah, yeah. that's like how you know if you, uh, you have fever or you don't have it. Right, the PSEI okay. is like the barometer or the it's the it gives you the temperature of the Philippine stock market. Mm. Okay. So every okay, time you see the PSEI, yeah. 
O, oh, diba? If you say it like that, it's not so technical, no? Kayang-kaya na like natin. Like you're talking to a five-year-old. Naiintindihan mo, diba? <laughs> Pero that, that's kasi my training. Kasi I yes, started exactly. out as a business journalist for the likes of business world. Where it's really mm-hmm. for the C-suite, like for the CEOs and the CFOs mm-hmm. of the world. Pero our publisher said, if you don't write in a way that a five-year-old camp can understand, hindi ka rin maintindihan na CEO kasi hindi lahat ng CEO. Tama naman! <laughs> hindi na. Tama naman! Tama naman! Oo, oo. That's and not the everybody dream. knows the jargons, the ba, and uh-huh. and you know all these technical terms. So going back, so para siyang uh, siya yung kumukuha ng temperature yes. na ano ba sabi mo stock exchange no, dito stock, sa Pilipinas. Stock market, stock yes. market, Pilipinas. Stock okay. market. What the six thousand? So when you mean? see, when you see, you sh- so for the past six months, maybe umaakyat akyat sa six three, six four, six five, kanan level. Mm-hmm. And then all of a sudden, naging 6,000. So, ibig sabihin, parang bumababa yung temperature niya, friend. Wait, that's a bad <laughs> thing, right? That sounds like a bad thing. That sounds like a bad thing if you are somebody who needs your money at the moment. Because ibig uh, sabihin, your uh, money, the value siya. of your stuff. Okay, okay. Tama. I see. Okay. Yeah, you need to dance a little <laughs> bit to that. Yeah. Because, yeah. you know, like I said yeah. in the intro, right? My mm-hmm. husband is mm-hmm. more, he's more, I guess also because he grew up to, you know, a family mm-hmm. who, who have businesses. So they, and they talk, they're comfortable about talking money at the dinner, talking mm-hmm. about money at the dinner table. And I didn't grow up to that. You know, money was always yeah. just like earned and then basta meron, alam mo yon. It wasn't something we discussed uh-huh. um, as a family. So, yeah. yung mga ganyan, parang when, also when we started dating, he was like, oh, you should open a, I don't even remember what it's freaking called. You something in 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 a particular bank. Oh, ganyan. Uh, UITF. Oh, <laughs> ganyan. hindi UTIF. Ah. Hindi UITF. UITF. Okay, okay, okay. Uh-huh. Tapos sabi, okay, you just put this certain amount of money and then, mm-hmm. you know, it'll go up and then it'll, and explain niya yung parang ganyan. Okay, when the, oh. the um, and then it'll go down and then what uh-huh. he does is when it go ups, goes up, he'll buy it back or something. Parang ganun. I never ko naintindihan. So, natulog na lang yung pera ko doon. <laughs> In short. <laughs> okay, so I'll teach you a trick. Okay. If you have extra money and mm-hmm. the barometer went down, parang nawala ng temperature ng konti, it's time to buy. This is money you don't need in the next five years. Bilin mo na! Kasi it's like Lazada and Shopee sale. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Oo, mura. Okay. Mura. So buy. Pero pag mataas na siya, pag medyo naging hotter ang temperature niya, and you need the money, that's when you sell it. Ganun lang. Mm-hmm. So it's a quick, parang cheat cheat into investing. Alam mo, meron akong gusto itanong sa'yo. I know I, I'm guesting here, so dapat ikaw ang nagtatanong. No, so, go ahead, naman, please. Yeah. Of course. So Questions marrying into that kind of family who's very comfortable with business, jargon, mm-hmm. etc. And then you, uh, siguro, iba yung culture in your family. You said earlier, you're not Mm-mm. that into it. How does that yeah. make you feel as a woman? Oof. <laughs> <laughs> Less empowered. <laughs> it makes me, yeah, exactly. Thank you for, this is why you're a, an amazing host as well, okay? Thank you for bringing me there. <laughs> Because that is exactly why this conversation we're about to have is very important. Diba? Because, you know, I had felt when i was single and i was living by you know the the kind of relationship with money that i had okay ako ako lang naman eh wala mm-hmm. na ako ibang mm-hmm. iisipin i guess mm-hmm. i would have probably survived on savings and whatnot but you know now our I'm noodles are like noodles. up students do pero promise talaga like uh, uh siguro nung nung ano na fiance ko na siya he was like okay mm-hmm. very ano siya eh, forward thinker Okay, there's this la- there's this patch of land. Let's build mm-hmm. something there, like a, a, a parang a rental place para yung mga, mm-hmm. mga karinderia mag-rent. And then I just need you to invest this much and then this is how much you're gonna be earning. This was 20, uh, 2019. Hindi pa pala kami engaged. Boyfriend, girlfriend pala kami. 2019. Hindi ko maintindihan. Yeah. Kasi paano kung kailangan ko itong 100,000 na to? Bukas. Alam mo yun? I know I have, but what if I need this tomorrow? I'm gonna give it yeah. to you. 
No. But 2020, I was stuck alone in my condo. We were LDR. He was in, in where I am now, you know, in the province. Yeah, yeah. I had no income for months. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. Pero pumapasok yun. So parang, ah, yung pala yun, no? <laughs> yung pala yung value nun. Okay, yeah. so all of these freaking, you know, intro stuff <laughs> being thrown around in the beginning, clearly stating that I know nothing about or very little <laughs> about this and i'm sure a lot of our listeners can relate my question to you now miss salve duplito is what mm-hmm. is financial literacy nga ba? if you were to explain it to a five-year-old yeah it's knowing what to do with your money knowing what money is to your life and its value to your life because the problem with us in the philippines because it's not part of our culture to talk about how to grow your money or even how to make money, di ba? In fact, in the house, parang our parents don't wanna talk about it kahit siguro gipit na sila, ayaw nilang aminin. Oh, yeah. Di ba? Because they don't wanna dump on us or they wanna protect us. So we never talk about it. In school, when I was growing up, I'm way older than you. Maka so, way older? Maka way older? Maka Ako way older. Yeah, way older, no? Ikaw after 30, ako af- malapit na mag-50. <laughs> but, yeah. So, Wait, in school, yung bullet ko, hindi mo ako. <laughs> when we were, like, going to elementary school sa probinsya pa naman ako, tapos mm. nag-college in UP, Mm-mm. we also didn't learn about how to manage money. Like, walang mm-hmm. checkbook. What's a checkbook? What's a UITF? Parang UTIF. Diba? Uh, Di naman yeah. tayo tinuruan nun. So, syempre, uh, parang there is no literacy. All we know about mm-hmm. literacy is how to read, how to write. But how do you live your life? That's financial literacy. Oof. All right! Kaya <laughs> tulog to, ah. I know! <laughs> In fairness diba, to your brain. Shower, oh. <laughs> Joke lang. Same. <laughs> ano ba? Nakakaliglagan tayo yung galawa dito. <laughs> okay, I love that. I love how you explained it, you know, um, because I guess that's the simplest way you, you, you can explain it, something that everybody can relate to, because it's true. Like, um, I remember having this conversation with my mom. Not to, ano guys, I'm not promoting not finishing school or anything, okay? But like, I remember having this conversation with my mom, um, you know, because I had, you know, I was already, I started working like middle of college. And she was like, you need to, ano, ganto ganyan, ganyan, ganyan. Parang you need to finish school because all these jobs, blah, 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 ganyan, ganyan. Mm-hmm. So, parang, uh, but, sure ba na kapag nag-graduate ako, may trabaho na ako, ma? Or kikita na ako? Oh. Doon ako nang galing nun. Sh- sigurado ka ba? <laughs> parang ganon. <laughs> Tapos, and it was, it was like a three-year, because second year college, I started paying for my own tuition fee. Oh, wow. Started, Good for you. UP naman. UP naman tayo. UP. So, yeah. <laughs> hindi, parang hindi naman ganito mahal. 5,000. 5,000 lang po, no? But but still, you know, it was... <laughs> um, and I think that was how I started, um, I guess, because I was starting to make my own money. I started having conversations like that with my mother. Um, mm-hmm. And we both started learning from each other also at the same time. But anyway, that's that's beside my point. But you said, no, um, it wasn't taught to us in school. It And also... Yeah. For a lot of us, not even in our home, swerte yung mga sa bahay, natuturuan yeah. sila ng magulang. My yeah. best friend, her father, um, the way na binigyan siya ng baon ng college was may ATM siya, kasi sinuhulugan every 15th and 30th. Para siyang sinusweldo. Oh, siya! Galing, di ba? Mm-hmm. So, pag oh. wala ka ng pera, pag inubos na niya yan, ala na siyang pera hanggang 30. Nga nga siya, oh. di ba? But so, natuto siya. siya. Oo. Wala akong ganun. Di ako, na, di ako natuto ng ganun. Walang, oh, no. you know... Um, you know you're wrong there. I think you learned more. Oh, yeah. Different. Then, Different. Magkaiba. Oo, oo, oo. Magkaiba. Feeling ko, iba rin yung journey natin, us who had to make our own money. In UP, I also had to work. Meron ako, mm-hmm. my tuition was paid for by my scholarship kasi UP government scholar. Wala na akong binabayaran. My stipend, a mm-hmm. little stipend, isang libo yata yun. And you have to live on that for a month. Goodness. <laughs> Ta- yeah, <laughs> tapos, so syempre kulang na kulang. And yeah. I had to work at the UP Food Service. Yeah, the para UP madagdagan yung service. kita ko. Otherwise, wow. friend, gutom. 
Puti na lang uh-huh. sa UP Food Service, libre ang pagkain kasi nga <laughs> mautak. Mo talaga yan, yan yung different things na natutunan natin I guess in the in the journey that we had, 'di ba? Right. Iba lang siya. Iba. Um but we Iba did na. learn a lot as well, 'di ba? And yes. we're applying that in our lives now. Okay. Go ahead. Andito asawa ko. <laughs> we were talking hi, about sabi- hi, Eric. hi asawa sabi ni Salve. Hindi kasi Eric, siya... 'di ba? Paolo, Sama. Eric yung tatay Ay. niya. Sino ko yung Eric? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry po. <laughs> Paolo, Paolo. Sir, Paolo, Paolo, Paolo. Paolo. <laughs> no, but yun, yun nga, I was saying, like, him, he's very comfortable uh, talking about money. Yeah. Um, and I thought I was, you know, because ano ako eh, empower, strong, independent, empowered woman. Yeah. Pero biglang yes. nung ano, usapan sa pera naming dalawa. Teka, 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 teka. <laughs> yun nga, yun yung unang experience ko. I'm gonna give you this amount of money. What if I need it? Diba? Dun, galing ako sa fear. What if I need, yeah. wait a minute, diba? And he's always just coming from, we're gonna earn it back. Okay, you need to invest in this. You need to, which I never understood, and I'm still trying to understand now at freaking 34. Okay, <laughs> so why are most people still reluctant to talk about money, Sabe? I think it's because there's so much pride. Uh, we don't wanna show other people that we don't know anything about it. Ikong a very refreshing, eh, because you can say it, and then you're not insecure about it. But in In a relationship, for example, in within mm-hmm. within marriages, sometimes merong ganong dynamic, di ba? Parang you feel like the lesser spouse because you don't know enough, <clears throat> mm-hmm. at least okay. as much as your husband does. So that's a problem in some marriages. Uh, in schools, pag uh, hindi ka masyadong marunong sa pera, and that's somebody parang shows na, oh, I can make money in the cryptocurrency market and, you know, 30,000 is nothing. Diba? Parang, yeah. parang kaya in our culture, mayabang yung marunong sa pera. Yeah. So ego. Or, it's it's an ego thing. Sometimes it's a matter of uh, pride, insecurity. That's why we don't talk about it. Pero feeling mm-hmm. ko, nawawala yon when we know that there's no judgment. You know, like the mm. two of us. We can talk about yeah. it because you know that there's no judgment. So our mm. relationship with money, our relationship with everything surrounding money is also affected by the kinds of relationship that we have with other people around us. Our parents, our spouses, our friends. Pag hindi judger, okay lang. You're free to talk about the fact that, oh, siya, sa susunod na sweldo ko na yun, mabibigay yung utang ko sa'yo kasi <laughs> ubos na. Yung ganon. Pero, Mm-mm. if there is some sort of insecurity, then sabihin mo, uh, then uutang ka na lang para magbayad ng isa pang utang. And then, that creates more troubles with finances. So, money issues, naku, maraming mm-hmm. galamay, madaming mga ugat-ugat-ugat yan, and it affects every aspect of our lives. It really does. I completely agree. No, and, and thank you for bringing up utang because that's also a floating annoy in my head. No, ah, uh, again because I grew up to an Ilocana lola who was very anum with with money, and she raised me never kang uutang, never. And I love I, it. And never ko, and so it wasn't. It didn't make sense. So credit cards didn't make sense mm-hmm. to me because in my head, utang yun ni. Eh. Diba? And again, in the first uh, year of our relationship, I needed a new laptop. Ma'am, punta ako. Proud na proud pa ako sa sarili ko. Bumili ako ng bagong laptop. Cash! Cash! Kala mo naman kung sinong mayaman. Pero iniisip ko na, paano ko babawiin yun ulit? Diba? Paano ko maa-ROI sa akin tong laptop na to? And then I go home. The, uh, we were just newly living in, no? And I was like, so proud. Like, I bought it. Sabi niya, did you use credit card? No. <laughs> I use cash. Sayang yung points niyan! Sayang yung, so, wala. Short ka ng gantong amount of money for the next few months. You could have paid it staggered. Tapos, nag-earn ka pa ng points. Hindi ko siya nagigets. Kasi, mm-hmm. ang sa akin, proud ako kasi hindi ako umutang. Yeah. Di ba? Hindi ako umutang sa bangko. Wala akong iisipin for the next few months. But that's not how it is all the time. But we'll, we'll get into that again, no? But I want to go back to utang because you say you know people being so reluctant about talking about money is a lot it has a lot to do with their pride you know their insecurities pero maraming pilipino ang baon sa utang right unfortunately that's a 
growing silent crisis, especially after COVID happened. People lost mm -hmm. their jobs and in desperation, some people who also got sick after they lost their jobs had no uh, other option but to borrow. And marami kasing Pilipino, hindi, hindi sila pwedeng bigyan ng credit cards kasi kulang sila sa uh, financial footprint na tinatawag. You know, wala pa silang bank account ever or di kaya nagkaroon na ng bank account or nagkaroon na ng utang dati tapos hindi na bayaran. So, may black mark na in their credit history. Alam mo, mm -hmm. Cara, the really bad thing that has happened is the proliferation of these online lending platforms that are so irresponsible and so bad to our people. What are these OLAs? Mm -hmm. um, there, some of them are registered with the government, some are not. Mm -hmm. They give you like 3,000 pesos in five minutes. Wala masyadong okay. checking. Yeah. Uh -huh. Pero halos 2,000% ang interest per year. Wow. Eh, but because we don't have financial literacy, our people don't know how exactly. to compute effective interest rates. Exactly. Diba sarap magmura? Ay, pinipigil lang ko naman. Baka may mga batits na nakikinig sa atin. Huwag naman natin yung kuwenta ng sama. Young stars. Eh, Nakakainis. Yeah, Nakakagigil yeah. talaga, Kara. And I'm happy that you asked this question because I'm taking this on as one of the fights that I'm fighting against, no? Na mm -hmm. we want to explain to as many people out there and all of your viewers should know that if mm -hmm. they are desperate, try to borrow from Kara na lang <laughs> Oh my God. <laughs> Joke lang. Joke lang. <laughs> Joke lang. I exhaust, exhaust all other official uh, options. Wag na pairalin yung pride. Minsan kasi kaya nag kasi you don't want other people to know that you need cash. Okay lang. Parang swallow your pride na muna. Humiram ka muna sa kamag-anak kung kailangan-kailangan talaga. Mm -hmm. At all costs, do not go to OLAs that are not registered with the SEC because you don't really know how much money they're going to charge you. And then, if you can't pay, Kara, you know what they do? What they, do they post do? your picture with your ID on social media and tell everybody you know that you are a scammer, that you are a bad person, etc., etc. They text you every single day. Like 20 times per day and harass you. They tell you, Oy, papakulong ka namin. Ikaw ay isang minumura ka pa sa text. Ha? All of these things are illegal. But because they're unregistered, who's going to mm -hmm. run after them? Government, yeah. it doesn't even know where the office is or who is the owner. So this is a, kumbaga sa lipunan, cancer ng lipunan itong oh, kailangan natin. Salo sa, ripun, sa lipunan to. Mm -hmm. Pero yun nga eh, kaya... This is why we need to keep having this conversation, keep talking about it as uh, simply uh, as 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 simple as possible, para na iintindihan ng mas nakararami sa atin. Kasi kaya nga nangungutang, kasi nangangailangan, but at the same time lumalapit sila dun sa mga utangan na ganyan, kasi easy money. Marami sa atin ganon eh. Kailangan ko ngayon. Kailangan ko na ngayon eh. Diba? Mm -hmm. Hindi mo naiisipin ko yung pa kung paano ko babalaran in the future, bahala na. Basta kailangan kong makakain, kailangan kong magpagamot, kailangan kong, diba? Need, mm -hmm. fear, scarcity. Again, I, it's all coming from that. Tama. I also have to say that there are good online lenders. Meron namang legit. Doon na lang. Do your due diligence. Mag Isip mo na kayo at mag-analyze. Don't go mm -hmm. for the first thing that offers something to you and tells you it's easy. Parang pagbo-boyfriend lang yan. Mamili muna kayo ng maayos. <laughs> Saka ano, di ba? Magdalawang isip. Medyo sketchy yung masyadong madali. Saka too good to <laughs> Sketchy yan. Hmm, wait ah, mm -mm, baka marami ng ligaw sa iyo na ganun. Kaya humihigot ka rin. <laughs> Who promised the sun, the moon, and the stars. Di ba? Mm -hmm. Masyado naman tayong naniniwala agad, guys. Optimistic Ogma tayo masyado. <laughs> Huwag ma-fall agad. Tama. Okay. Um, so, okay. I love how, I mean, where this conversation is going now, no? It's, and I want to bring it back to uh, the most important question you asked me a while ago. Yung, 
you know, being a wife to this marriage now, a wife to a husband who grew up to a family who were super comfortable about, you know, talking about money and I'm not. How does it make me feel? It makes me feel... Um, yan, ganyan. It makes me feel small every time we talk about money. It makes me feel small. Kaya siya nagiging away kasi kailangan kong i-fluff yung ano ko. Teka, marunong din ako. Yeah. Diba? Mm-hmm. All the more now, my gosh, I'm being more and more vulnerable. I'm sharing way too much. But okay, I love it. <laughs> what are you doing to me, Salve? Ayan talaga, FM ko. Tama. It's my exactly. financial advisor. I know. Cats. All the more now that I just moved, uh, I just, you know, uh, moved my life um, to where my husband is from now i am i'm at the province and so ma i i don't i'm not i don't have my regular job so eh doon nakabase yung pagkakaalam ko sa pera yung kinikita ko yeah. which is not necessarily a good thing you know because i'm basing my achievements and my my pride and my ano it, now that i moved to a different o oh, paano na diba what is how do i feel when, uh, when we talk about money, when we talk about paying the bills, when we talk about all these things, while well, I'm going through this change. I'm not saying I won't have a job ever, you know, mm-hmm. but I'm going through this transition. How do I feel empowered in this position that I'm in right now? Um, so, you know, sim- yes, go ahead. You were about to say something. Communication. I am sure that your relationship is amazing. And I am also sure that you bring into the relationship many things that you're insecure about because of Maybe your past, the way you were raised, or diba? all the mm-hmm. things that we brought to the marriage from our family life and our experiences with other boys, even. Mm-hmm. We're a whole person when we go into a marriage. So now mm-hmm. as you're adulting, you sometimes parang all of these bubbles of insecurities come up. What we need to do is to discuss. Mm-hmm. So discuss and communicate. Wow, well, parang marriage counselor. Peg. Tama. Discuss, From finance oh, okay. to marriage counselor. <laughs> <laughs> Pero kasama kasi talaga siya. Couple Tata. finance is one of the things that I really love to talk about because um, being able to talk about it in a in a very honest manner can save a marriage, can save a family, can save generations from heartache. So, yeah. I believe that every couple should have a financial date. So one mm-hmm. hour every Saturday, prepare ka ng konting wine and some cheese and some grapes and some happy, loving atmosphere. And then both of you just be honest with how you see money, your insecurities about money. And as you open up to each other, I believe that in a loving environment, you give the other person a chance to relieve you of some of those fears. Kasi without that, uh, financial Saturday, ang tawag ko dyan. Oh, di ba, meron pa akong tawag? Yeah. Financial Saturday. Without that financial Saturday, you unnecessarily create so much fear and difficulty when hindi naman pala. Kasi pag napag-usapan, ma-realize mo, hindi ka naman pala niya minamaliit. Ikaw pala yung nagmamaliit sa sarili mo. Diba? I'm not talking oh, yeah. about you, oh, yeah. you. No, but that's so true. In yeah. every relationship. I completely agree. I completely, oh my God. Kinilabutan ako. Kasi this is a conversation. Naiiyak ako na kinilabutan. Ano ba ito? Salve! No, kasi it's something that we, uh, uh, very recently, we had just um, uh, talked about, had a little argument about so to speak no um because like you said we were both and the thing is we were coming from very different places and had the mm-hmm. argument continued on that way wala kami pararoonan kasi magkaiba kami ng pinag-uusapan pala he mm-hmm. his concern was because my husband is that way he's very let's work together very team very ganyan mm-hmm. ang concern niya about finances is i don't need you to give so much i don't need you to give a lot i don't need you to pay for this pay for that i just need you to um, to make me feel like we're both doing it. Kahit limang piso lang yan, basta meron tayong dalawa. Doon siya nanggagaling. Ako, nanggagaling ako sa insecure na insecure ako kasi natatakot ako, now that I'm here, I won't be able to contribute as much anymore. So we were coming from very different places and I love that you said that because had we not talked about it, ang laking away, uh, das lalalim pa yun ang lalalim. Diba? Kasi... 
Tama. I don't know, I'm hearing it differently. And he's also hearing it differently. Okay, baka ng stories in our heads. Mm-hmm. Oh, that's beautiful. I want to have another <laughs> podcast about that. My gosh. <laughs> oh, <laughs> there are many techniques for that. Like I start co- um, couple consultations where we do vision boards, for example. So in the vision board experience, I ask the couple to just draw everything that they want to have in their lives that require money to achieve. And that mm-hmm. that opens up the conversation about money in a very pos- positive way. It's not about oh who pays the bills. He sino dapat? Eto toka mo, eto toka mo. No, eh. mm-hmm. we start the conversation with what do you want to have? Do you want? Gusto mo ba yate? Gusto mo ba <laughs> jamante? Ano? So it's more positive because you're having fun, di ba? Yeah. And in that way, I've seen a lot of couples, for example, discover na. Uy, si Cara pala, gusto niya pa pala mag-Harvard. O si mm-hmm. Paul pala, gusto niya pala magtayo ng school. So now you're team together instead of team apart. Because now you know what each other, what the other person longs to have. And then you mm-hmm. can figure out together how you get there, how much to set aside. Okay, siguro on this year we go to Disneyland or whatever. Or mm. I don't know, Maldives, whatever. Mm-hmm. So parang nagkakaroon ng shape the future together. And you know what? That has preserved relationships more than any parang kwento-kwento lang about love. Mas pag-usapan ninyo yung pera, it bonds oh. you together kasi you're working towards a shared goal. Mm-hmm. That's so profound, Sabe. That's so beautiful, uh, and, and that's how and that's how you are empowered, right? In the relationship as well, because and communication is key, <laughs> and and Very you know much. that's not repeating. Communication is key to, um, you know, feeling empowered, um, mm-hmm. in this sense. And we're talking about specifically in you know in marriages. Um, which brings me to my next question, which is, you said no amount of love, love, and, you know, even books, even finance mm-hmm. books or marriage books that you read, knowing, simply knowing uh, is not enough. Mm-hmm. Um, applying it properly, right? simply knowing something and doing it and applying it properly are two very different things. Not everyone is finance savvy. Mm-hmm. Uh, um kada maraming babae then na hindi also because we're uncomfortable uh, to talk about it how can uh, um let's start with women how can women start building a good relationship with money what are the top uh, finance habits we need to start to keep uh, to achieve confidence in financial literacy i have a slide that people love to, to look at it's a very simple slide that talks about the things that you hire people, uh, the, the, how much you pay to hire certain people to do certain jobs. So what mm-hmm. I did was list down, for example, um, how, how, much, how much would you hire, how much would you pay somebody to tutor your child? How much would you pay someone to do the laundry? Essentially, everything that a mother does in the house or a spouse, kung wala pang anak, and then I put monetary value to that. And you know, Kara, what the last slide is? Mm-hmm. Escort service. <laughs> oh my God. Because it's true. Oh, come on. A marriage is about that. Also, at the end of the day, at night, diba? That's a Pero, diba? Okay, yeah. so you can imagine uh, the slide, okay? Yeah, so, yeah. Driver, magkano. Tutor, magkano. Yaya, magkano. CFO ka rin ng bahay, magkano hinahire mo. Everything. And then, yung panggabi, siguro tayo mga pang 200,000 per night, ganyan. <laughs> 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 And, mahal na ba yun? Hindi <laughs> ko alam. Ang, hindi, mura pa yun, sus. <laughs> mura pa ba yun? Hindi <laughs> ko alam eh. <laughs> also, anyway, put the highest uh-huh. amount there. And yeah. then, add mo lahat. So I ask people, if you're a woman in this crowd, and if you're a woman watching or listening to this podcast, is that your monetary value? So I want people, I want women to know their true value, their in- inherent that? worth. Yeah. Do you know How? your true value? That's uh, Angeline, you're hitting every single... Okay, so <laughs> like we said... 
<laughs> Parang open journal ko tong podcast eh, okay? I'm just putting it out there, okay? I love it. <laughs> it's, um, okay, so like I said, I just moved, right? So we're exploring mm-hmm. things. Um, I still go back to Manila to do what I do um, when I can, you know, when it's financially, when it makes sense. Because it's a, it's still a travel, you know, and it's money that I'm spending. So when it makes sense, I'll do it there. But I'll be doing something here. Um, and, you know, we're looking for looking for avenue. Like, what can I do? What can I do? Ganyan. Tapos asawa ko bilang helper, let's do, let's be a team, whatever. He's like, oh, let's do this. But it's not, it's not the same amount I was making. Like I said, I had attached my value to the amount that I worked so hard to start earning at this age, right? So now it's, mm-hmm. it's, it's, it's not that. It's lower. But it is, um, it's a good opportunity. And I caught myself, and after I had said that, ano yun eh, dinner, tapos, di ba, tapos na ganyan. Binalik ako yung asawa ko and I said, I, I, so I'm sorry for the way I reacted because I think I reacted from insecurity. Um, kasi yung reaction ko talaga, parang, I said something to the effect of that's not how much I'm worth. Ganon. That's not, that's, because you know when I do this job, I'll do it 100%. And it feels to me that if if that's how much you think I'm worth, parang ganon na offend ako. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, but also I'm in a different place, and mm-hmm. I should not be attaching my my va- yun nga eh, So pano? That being said, that story mm-hmm. na sobrang swak to dito. Uh, <laughs> parang what fresh pa naman to mga, diba? mga people <laughs> random ko eh random ko. <laughs> parang pinadala yata ako ng mga anghel mo diba <laughs> oh my gosh I yes. love it no but so yeah so income is not mm-hmm. what you're worth you are much much more than that one time I was in Boy Abunda show um uh, mm-hmm. The boy abunda show. <laughs> the bottom line. Uh, yeah, I was uh, in the bottom line. Uh-huh. And you know how he th- throws a curveball at the end? Uh-huh. Yeah. Diba? Tapos mm-hmm. yung, we were talking about taxes and teaching mm-hmm. people how to save, invest money, and then Tito Boy at the end says, how much are you worth, Salve? Bigla na lang ganun. As in, walang, ano, walang warning. How much are you worth? That was split second. I did not think. I said mm-hmm. infinite. I love. <laughs> I love it. It. We are infinite. And I always say this in every talk, every speaking engagement, I say, this earth was created for you. And you were born on this earth to have sea turtles as friends. I had sea turtles when I was young. And mm. I lost them. That's why. Who good ko yun eh? You were mm. born to have sea turtles as, as friends. For the ocean to be a receptacle of your tears. For the wind to listen to your wails. This whole universe was created for you. Your value cannot be counted in pesos. And I am talking to you, Miss Cara Carillo Rabat. You can remember me the rest of your life. (laughs) Coaching session pala ito. (laughs) Nakakalibre ako dito. Ha? But, no, but that is, that, that is it. The, that is the perfect, uh, I guess, follow-up to what you were saying. Diba? What is, diba? If you add it all up, what is your, how much are you worth? How much are you worth? Sometimes, diba? the peso amount you get is much lower than you'd expect. And sometimes, it's really good. Sometimes, it's higher than what you'd expect. There are mm-hmm. times in our lives, it's, it's really a cycle, diba? there are times in our lives when we're up, there are times when we're down, but that doesn't define who you are. Because who you are is a child of the universe. Whatever it is you're going through now, it's just something you're going through. Eventually, mm-hmm. you'll go through <laughs> and you'll get to <laughs> And it will yeah. be much better or it can be worse, but it doesn't matter because you know who you are. And it's happening for me, like you said, not to me. It's happening for me. So maybe it's something that I, I do need to go through. And people who are going through the same thing, yes. <laughs> people who are going through the same thing, you know, um, I'm sure marami, marami, marami sa atin na, na ganun ang pakiramdam. 
'di ba? Natakot lang tayong aminin, naiihiya tayong sabihin that we have attached we have attached our worth to the income that we make and so when we're taken away from that, when we lose our jobs, when we move to a different country, a different city and lose that, we feel less less empowered, less whatever, less of anything or everything, right? So, um yeah. Just very quickly. You're yes, lucky you have a husband like Paul. Paolo, Paolo, Paolo. Malipare, malipare. Papatayin na ako ni Paolo. I am. You're But lucky go ahead. you have a husband who knows your true value. Because in many other relationships in the Philippines, in Metro Manila, or outside of Metro Manila, certain males or certain spouses use income to manipulate and abuse their wives. Yeah. So for Excuse very me? quick lang. Yeah. What do you mean? So for example, they want to keep their wives dependent on them for income, especially wives who are beaten up. And who are kept in the house instead of being allowed to shine outside of it, they are kept dependent for income and told that they can never make it outside of that household, so that they'll never leave the abuser. And this is a reality of life, and I challenge any woman who's listening to you right now, who's in the situation, again, what I said to Kara: you are not your income, and you are not the collection of all your heartaches in life. You are much more than that and you are stronger than you realize. Learn about how to manage your money. That's my message mm-hmm. to all women. I say I've heard and interviewed so many women who've been through so much heartache and discovered when they discovered that they are able to make their own money, kahit konti lang, they feel empowered and they are mm-hmm. able to do the things that they were born here on earth to do. Thank you for that. That's so beautiful. <sighs> my heart, my aching heart. <laughs> so again, which brings me, he said, um, learning about this will definitely empower us. Um, learning to apply it um, is very empowering as well. But we can only, um, and for women, who are in that situation, unfortunate situation, or women who are, are mothers, diba? Mm-hmm. We can only teach what we know. Ano, ano, diba? Ano, tuturo mo kung di mo alam kung ano yun. Imagine how vicious this cycle is. You know, how, how can a mother teach her child about money if she doesn't even know how to handle finances herself? Doesn't make her a bad mom. Doesn't make her a bad person. It just means it wasn't something that she... She learned. It's not something that she knows. Diba? She's in debt. She lives paycheck to paycheck. Now, what does this teach her child, right? So how do we now break this um, dangerous cycle? The internet is a sometimes it's a scary place to live. <laughs> diba? It's a scary place, but also such a blessing if we know how to use it well. So, for example, in my social services, it's on YouTube, everywhere. You can find free content to help you manage your money. And it's meant to be this simple. Mm -hmm. So mothers, women, sisters, lolas can try to understand how money can grow, how money, how you can lose it also if you put it in scams or how to be a smart borrower. You can learn all of those things so that you also empower people around you. Because we have to cut the cycle, as you said, Kara. It's very, very important. The more financial education there is, the more smart, beautiful, and empowered women can transform the world. That's what we're fighting for. We're such change the world people, no? Yes. Mm-hmm. Not even going to change the world. Change the in the back in the back of my head. Okay. Tule mo yung kanta mo kaya. <laughs> no, but yeah, it is. Right? It's uh, like what you said. You know, you 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 were put into this earth. You know, the 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 ocean is here for you. You know, the wind is here to listen to your whales. And and in essence, right? it's it's everything we do, say, don't do. We all affect nature. Nature affects us. It's a cycle. Mm-hmm. So 
whatever it is that we learn now, we're learning it for ourselves, yes, but also for the future generations to, diba, to break that vicious cycle nga of not knowing and, and people being in debt, people not knowing how to handle their money, people not knowing their worth because their worth is attached to money and the money that they make. Diba? Um, so these are deeply, deeply rooted social norms um, uh, coupled with gender biases. And this fuels the financial hardships that women, a lot of women, face today. How does financial literacy now empower women? To put it simply, Miss Salve Duplito, to a five-year-old, paano po? How does financial literacy empower women? The Filipinos, we are a helping race. Wow, well, race, diba? Sometimes we are able to leave a better footprint if we have the money to help other people. But if we don't have that money, parang ang liit ng footprint natin. Our, our influence grows when we have money. That's a reality. Although I always say, money is never the most important thing. Mm-hmm. That's weird, no? Because I talk about money all the time. And it's all about mm-hmm. financial education. But I still say, money is never the most important thing. But knowing how to have money, knowing how to handle it, knowing how to grow it, allows you to do things that are most important in this world. So if you want to change... Uh, end the cycle, empower other people, embrace financial education. Don't think that just because we're women, we're not as good as men when it comes to numbers or finances, diba? Nee, that's not true. It's never true. So have the courage to learn about it and share it. That's how we change the... We, we end this cycle of women being the most unempowered people on the planet we can easily transform the world with more knowledge about how to make us more financially empowered tama <laughs> 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 sorry yung flash back ako sa lahat ng mga <laughs> kasi gulong gulo na ako honestly with kasi nga yun yun hindi ako nabigyan ng ng background oh. tungkol sa pera how it talk about finances oh. kanyan so diba I have friends and these mm-hmm. are these are like well off uh women but um they they're uh, ano ba paano ko ba to sasabihin ng wala mang offend ang belief nila is when they're married huh? the man is the one who provides calm ah, but okay. it's not it's not hindi siya yung they feel less empowered it is uh uh-uh. uh ganon like pag meron na akong pambili ko ng Louis Vuitton ko ganyan Ganon. Diba? Litong-lito ako. Kasi, <laughs> iba, yeah, ganon ang atake nila, which I respect. You know, no judgment there. I respect. Sa akin, di, hindi ko kasi siya ganon, I don't see it that way eh. Kasi nga, iba ang pagpapalaki sa akin, iba ang relationship ko um, with money. So, mahalaga na pinag-uusapan ito. Ayan. May mahalagang go lang. Josh. No problem. Ang <laughs> Josh. Josh. Ay, istorbo talaga sa buhay ko si Josh Santos. <laughs> istorbo ka daw, nagpo-podcast kami ni Cara Erigel Rabat. Ay, <laughs> recording kami, huwag ka magulo. Ano ba yan? O sige na, galingan niyo ah. <laughs> Narinig mo yan? <laughs> Hindi ko ikakat to ha. Hindi, <laughs> Hindi na daw to ikakat, lalabas ka sa episode. Pwede kang oras. Lalabas ka sa episode. Oh, ikat nyo? <laughs> no. Ikat mo na. Oh, hindi. O, oh, bye-bye. <laughs> Ayan, nako. Yung si Josh uh, Santos, isa sa mga kaibigan namin, ano. Uh, one of my longest, uh, na, long-time friend. Bili ng bili ng mahal na gamit. <laughs> True. Bili ng bili ng mahal na gamit. Pero iba rin ang relationship niya sa pera. Which I also Tama. respect. You know, iba, iba ang view niya sa pera. To him, money is, it's an abundance. Diba? Yes. Abundant siya. So, iba rin. Um, some people say, you know, you have you live it, live like you have it. Diba? That's how you manifest things. And I guess maybe that's why a lot of people live in fear because the way they think is wala akong pera. Kasi ganun ka rin lumaki. Money, mm-hmm. hindi, diba? Hindi nalalaglag sa puno ang pera. Diba? Wala tayong pera. Magtipid ka. Sometimes it's it's just 
miscommunication, like you said, communication is key. Sometimes when parents are having a hard time because they can't tell their child that they are having a hard time. They're in the grocery and the child wants to buy biscuit na medyo mahal ng onte. The mom will say, wala tayong pera. Mm-mm. Scarcity mindset naman. Oo. Diba? And that, they're not bad people. Doesn't make them bad no. parents. It just means, mm-hmm. hindi, they don't know how to communicate. Or, or you have, eh, ito, classic to. Hindi, hindi mo pa napasa yung test mo, you don't deserve it. When in truth, what they really mean is <laughs> we don't have money. That's something oh, I grew up with. That's pala. why natuto mm-hmm. akong, lola ko naman to ah. Kaya natuto mm-hmm. akong, kasi hindi niya kayang sabihin wala tayong pera. So, ang tra- mm-hmm. yun ang translation nun. Pero ang sinasabi niya, you haven't worked hard enough to earn that. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So, ang naging translation sa akin growing up was, oh, I have to work very hard and keep working so that I make my money. So that I deserve Buti it. Buti na nga, so may ganun I... eh. Ako, hindi na lang ako humingi kasi alam ko talaga walang pera. <laughs> Yan nga. <laughs> Kaya yeah, ka naman nandiyan financial... ngayon and you're talking about financial <laughs> literacy, di ba? Yeah. Pag binalik-balikan ko yung past, grabe. Pahirapan talaga. And my parents were... My parents separated when I was little because one of the things, one of the reasons was money. I've never mm. shared this with anyone before or with uh, uh, in a podcast or in a guesting. But their relationship right. with money was so bad. My my dad was pogi, tisoy, espanyol. Mm. Pagalitan na ako ng mga kapatid ko nito sa mga kinakwento. <laughs> you were vulnerable, so I better be also. Uh-huh. So she said, when I was little, um, nabubwisit siya kasi may kabit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Diba? Mm-hmm. Tapos, karga-karga niya ako, na baby pa ako, and then she said to the to the tindahan, oh, huwag niyong pauutangin yan kasi may kabit siya. And he got mm-hmm. so mad, tinutukan mm-hmm. niya kami ng baril. Oh my gosh. Well, she was holding me in her arms, tapos tinutukan oh niya kami ng baril. Those kinds of stuff we grow up, we grew up with, they go with us wherever we go, unless we're able to block them with the right kind of money attitudes and money concepts. We just mm-hmm. have to outgrow them. They don't necessarily have to be our lives. Mm-hmm. We just have to learn how to pick them out of our lives and learn from them, but never get buried by the negative emotions that surround them. Otherwise, even our money-making abilities will be affected. We are not our yeah. past. Thank you so much for sharing that with us here. First time. Thank you. Thank Anywhere. you. <laughs> wow. I feel so honored. Thank you. Well, this, I, it's, I am grateful that you shared that experience with us because now it makes me feel that this is definitely a safe space. Diba? This is a safe space and you are, you feel safe being able to open up to me that way. So thank you. I really appreciate that. Please know that that is something I truly, truly value. And like you said, diba? it doesn't have, these are past they do not need, they do not necessarily have to consume us. In fact, in your case, the way I see it, correct me if I'm wrong, is that it even empowered you. You've used somehow that experience into something, into a powerful tool that is now something that drives you. Yes. Every time I speak, it's like I'm looking for the me in the audience. And mm-hmm. if you can just if I can just change one person's life or affect somebody's, kahit na one hour lang of their lives, it's all worth it, diba? Oh, yeah. A huge impact, Salve. And you being able to share that here is already a huge impact because a lot of us have had experiences, different experiences in our lives na tumatak sa atin, na minsan hindi natin mabitawan, or sometimes kagaya ko naging excuse natin, or becomes our crutch, diba? when in fact we can be like Salve, who have, you know, turned it around and used it um, to her advantage so that she can give back. Diba? Again, it's the cycle that we're talking about, right? Mm-hmm. It's it's now creating a, a, a beautiful cycle, affecting, making a ripple effect na maganda. Diba? Um, 
And, you know, th- we hear this being thrown around all the time. Empowered women empower women. And this is exactly, again, what Salve Doplito does, diba? She is living proof of this. Okay? <laughs> Mayroon siyang ito. Andito yung sign niya. Empowered women empower women. Uh, please, Salve, that. share this with our listeners. How does... Ito, ito yung curveball. Bumo, buboy, abunda ako dito sa mga mga. Tito boy? <laughs> Itakara? Sure. Uh, how, itakara? Does, <laughs> how does the Salve Duplito inspire, transform, and empower women? I think my answer to that started with how you started this podcast. Uh, by being vulnerable. Uh, I used to be very shy at sharing personal experiences. And then somebody interviewed me and wrote about my past. I didn't know. <laughs> Baka na may misinterpret ko lang that she was really going to write about it. And at first, I was scared because mm-hmm. talking about the unempowered parts of your life is scary. You're scared that you'll be judged. You'll, you're scared that people won't see you the same way or hindi ka na cool kasi ganun. Alam mo yun? And then yeah. I realized that, that these stories somehow empower others. It's like it's like when somebody tells you na they're having a sucky day and then when you tell them, di, kaya mo yan. You feel worse. Pero when they tell you na, oo nga, ako rin. Oh, 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 ganun, empathy. Ganun. Yeah, uh, empathy or they affirm compassion. that uh-uh. compassion. Yeah. They affirm that, yeah, really what happened. And mm-hmm. so I discovered that being vulnerable brings with it a different kind of empowering nature. Because people mm-hmm. find themselves in your weaknesses. And in the flip side of it, in that moment, they become stronger. But it's difficult. I, you know this, Kara. Kanina, I saw you struggling <laughs> to share your <laughs> vulnerable <laughs> moments. So what we do, guys, this is not easy. Don't do this in the house. <laughs> don't do this. <laughs> don't do this outside in the tindahan, you know? Uh, <laughs> On telepribadi, don't broadcast. No? <laughs> it's hard. It's hard, really. It's hard to be yeah. open and trusting. It's hard. Pero that's how empowered women empower others. I think it's in sharing our deepest moments and deepest, darkest moments when we are able to touch somebody else's heart. It's not, I don't call it um, poverty porn when I talk about my own poverty because poverty porn is just using it maliciously. But when you're sharing it to empower others, I think there's a big difference. Oh, yeah. Uh, it's not for fame or to be, you know, to make a spectacle of yourself. It's not that. <laughs> it's really more about sharing a dark moment so that you can bring light to somebody else. That's beautiful. I, gosh, I'm so sorry. I forget um, who said this, but I think she is also a TV, uh, uh, a TV host or an anchor, but she said, your mess is make your mess your message Mm -hmm. and that is the essence of of you know what you are doing you maybe let's not use the word mess mess (laughs) my negative connotation it's it's becoming your message now and it is what you are it's what you've devoted your life to (laughs) (laughs) to be able to help other people not and you're sharing yourself and your experiences and your pains and your fears in hopes that people who are feeling the same way will relate to you and see that, oh, I can get through it too. And and you're giving them tools on how to get through it. And this is how you you inspire, transform, and empower women. I mean, in this, what, less than an hour conversation we've had, I already learned. 